Welcome. This is the clinical training video for the ExtraCare 3000 Negative Pressure Wound Therapy Pump. ExtraCare is proud to present to you the ExtraCare 3000, a lightweight yet versatile and powerful pump. With a simple interface and a range of different therapy settings, the ExtraCare 3000 is the ideal pump for promoting portability with MPWT patients. Intended use The ExtraCare 3000 MPWT unit is intended to generate negative pressure or suction to remove wound exudates, infectious materials and tissue debris from the wound bed to promote wound healing. For the device indications for use and contraindications, please refer to Section 2 and 3 of the Clinician IFU. Package Content The ExtraCare 3000 unit comes in a commercial box like this. A Clinician IFU is provided inside the box. The Clinician IFU has a QR code sticker at the front that will link you to the clinician video you are watching now. The patient IFU and quick guide might be provided separately by your institution. Included in the box is an ExtraCare 3000 unit, a 100 cubic centimeters collection canister, a power supply with a 10-foot cord, and a USB cable. Precautions There are some precautions for using the ExtraCare 3000. First, when using the device, do not block the air exhaust at the back. Blocking the air exhaust could shorten the pump life and cause the pump to overheat. Secondly, the ExtraCare 3000 pump is not MRI safe. Disconnect the pump from the patient before entering an MRI environment. The ExtraCare 3000 should also not be used in a hyperbaric chamber. Do not also use the ExtraCare 3000 within one foot or 30 centimeter of any portable radio frequency equipment or electronic devices, as there could be interference that may affect the pump. Avoid using the pump near a heat source, such as fireplace or close to a radiant heater. During therapy, if active bleeding develops suddenly, immediately stop the therapy, leave the extra care wound dressings in place, and take measures to stop bleeding. Setting up for use. If the battery is low, please charge the ExtraCare 3000 by connecting the power supply to the unit. The adapter port is found on the side of the device. Open the soft cover and insert the power supply to the unit. If successful, the ExtraCare button on the front of the unit will start to flash in green color. To turn on the device, Press down the power button on the side of the device for two seconds. After the two seconds, you may hear a beep and the initialization screen will appear. When the device is charging, you may also notice the charging battery sign on the top of the LCD screen. Setting the date and time. The first time you use the ExtraCare 3000, you will need to set up the date and time on the unit. Please follow the prompt on the screen. First, set up the date from year to month today. Press next and then set up the time. Once the time is entered, press on the confirm button. The main page will then appear. Canister features. Each ExtraCare 3000 unit is supplied with a 100 cubic centimeters canister. However, there is also a 400 cc sized canister that is sold separately. You will notice that all canisters have a white packet at the bottom. This is the solidifying agent, so any fluids that come into the canister will be gelled immediately. The canister has an inlet port on the side, which connects to the dressing. On the outlet of the canister, which is on the side that faces the pump, you will notice a charcoal filter, which helps remove any odor that may arise from the exudate. There is also a white bacterial filter that minimizes contamination to the pump. There are also sensors that identify the fluid level inside the canister and whether the canister is properly installed. Canister installation and removal. 
When a canister is full, you can simply remove the canister by pressing down on the canister release button, which can be found on the top of the device. When the canister is ejected, pull it away from the pump. The ExtraCare 3000 has a hook at the bottom on the unit side. To install the canister, engage the bottom of canister to this hook. Then push the canister against the pump until you hear and feel it snapped into place. Then just take a look to make sure the canister is flush with the pump and is not loose at all. The ExtraCare 3000 can be used either as a stationary unit or a portable unit. When used as a stationary unit, please make sure it stands upright. To use it as a portable unit, please refer to the carrying case section in this video. Carrying case The ExtraCare 3000 has two carrying cases. One to be used with the smaller 100 cubic centimeters canister and a larger one for to be used with a 400 cubic centimeters canister. They are sold separately. Putting the unit into a carrying case is very simple. Open the zipper at the back of the carrying case and place the unit in. Screen first, so the back label is facing you. Then close the zipper. There are multiple windows on the carrying case. On the left side, you will find the power button and the adapter port. On the right side, there is a cutout for the inlet tubing. Opening the front cover, you will see the touchscreen of the unit on the left and the canister level on the right. The ExtraCare 3000 touchscreen is designed to work through the window of this carrying case. Inserting the dressing tubing. Before starting the therapy, you will need to connect the unit to the dressing tubing. To connect the dressing tubing to the ExtraCare 3000 unit, simply push the open end of the wound dressing tubing into the inlet port of the canister, making sure it is pushed all the way in. Vacuum mode. The ExtraCare 3000 pump offers two vacuum modes, a continuous mode and an intermittent mode. The continuous mode runs the pump at the desired pressure continuously. The intermittent mode cycles the pump at the target pressure for 5 minutes and then at low pressure of 20 mm mercury for 2 minutes. To toggle between these two modes, make sure your settings are not locked. Press down on the therapy settings button located at the bottom left of the screen. A therapy settings page will appear. Under the therapy mode option, press on the blue arrow button to switch mode. Then press confirm. On the main page, you can tell which mode the unit is running by looking at the line under the word mode. A straight line means the pump is in continuous mode. A dashed line means the pump is in intermittent mode. Changing pressure. The extra care unit can deliver pressure from 20 to 140 millimeters mercury. The target pressure is displayed as the bigger numbers on the touchscreen, as circled here. To adjust pressure on the ExtraCare 3000, press down on the Therapy Settings button at the bottom left of the screen. You can adjust the pressure up and down by pressing either the green plus button or the red minus button. Each press will change the target pressure by 5 mm mercury. Once the target pressure is chosen, press Confirm to return to the main page. Starting the therapy. Once the pump has been properly set up, Start the therapy by pressing the EX button until you hear a beep and the EX button lights up in blue. This signals the therapy has started. The target pressure is shown in the big blue number on the screen. You may notice a fan-shaped symbol flashing on top of the target pressure number. When the symbol appears, the air pump is working to reach its target pressure. Underneath the target pressure is the actual pressure measured in real time. You may notice that the play triangle symbol will also appear at the top of the screen. The ExtraCare 3000 unit has the ability to track usage. The total duration of the therapy is displayed above the target pressure. This indicates how long the pump has been in use from the last reset. Locking and muting settings. The settings on the ExtraCare 3000 will be locked automatically three minutes after therapy starts. Occasionally, you might need to lock the settings on the pump earlier. You can do this on the ExtraCare 3000 by pressing on the Device Option button. 
a new window will appear on the screen. On the right, you will see a circle button that has an image of a lock in the middle. Pressing that button will turn the unlock into locked mode. To unlock the device, you will need to press down on the lock button for 4 seconds. When the device is under locked mode, a lock symbol will appear at the top of the screen. The therapy settings button will be disabled, and pressing the button will create an error message. The ExtraCare 3000 has the ability to mute alarm when desired. You can do this by also going to the device options page and then pressing on the left circle button that has the speaker sign in it. If the speaker sign is gray, then the alarms are audible. If speaker sign is blue and has a cross next to it, then the alarms are muted for four hours. However, if the alarms are muted, visual alarms will still be available. Once you are done with the device options, you can press the close button to return to the main page. Exudate Tracking The ExtraCare 3000 has the ability to monitor the exudate level in a canister and the time to reach those levels. To see this, simply press down on the symbol that looks like a cup on the touchscreen. This is the Volume Indicator button. As exudate goes up, the volume indicator on the button will also change. The ExtraCare 3000 unit will show exudate level at 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% of the canister total volume. Usage Log The ExtraCare 3000 has the ability to log the date and time of important events during therapy. Examples of such events would include when therapy is paused, when an alarm occurs, when therapy is resumed, and when therapy settings are changed, you can view those logs by pressing down the Device Options button on the main page and then press down on the blue outlined Usage Log button. The ExtraCare 3000 unit will display the last 30 events, six events on a page, starting with the most recent event. You can scroll through different pages by pressing the blue arrow buttons. To clear the usage counter and event log for a new therapy or patient, Press down on the power button and the EX button at the same time for 3 seconds. The usage counter will reset to zero, and the event log page will be cleared. Error notifications The ExtraCare 3000 provides audible and visual notifications when an error occurs. On the touchscreen, an error message will appear, along with how to address the error. When an error is occurring, the EX button shall also flash red, and followed by beep sounds. Some common situations that will cause an alarm include The device is tilted A canister is missing The canister is full Low battery Or when a leakage is found in the system Exiting the alarm can be done by pressing the oval, red-bordered close button In some instances, the therapy might be paused and immediate actions are needed to fix the issue. Pausing or stopping the therapy. To pause a therapy, press the EX button for two seconds. In general, to end the therapy and to temporarily disconnect the patient from the unit, please use the following steps to disconnect the patient from the unit. First, use the tubing clamp to close off the dressing. This protects the wound from outside contaminant and keep the dressing vacuum down. Second, disconnect the lure connector on the tubing. Third, press the power button for two seconds to turn off the pump. If necessary, dispose of the canister according to your local regulations on medical waste. Device cleaning. We recommend wearing gloves when cleaning the unit. If the device becomes soiled during use, wipe down the surface of the unit with a damp cloth using a mild household soap solution. Do not use any bleach or alcohol, and do not immerse the unit in water. Between each patient use, use a medical-grade disinfectant available in your facility, and follow the direction indicated by the disinfectant to wipe down all surfaces. Do not sterilize the unit in autoclave, 
or in an ethylene oxide chamber. This concludes the ExtraCare 3000 clinical training video. We hope this helps you understand the basic operation of the unit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your local distributor or provider. Thank you for all you do for the patients.